Hi, welcome to Start PHP. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WAMP server on your Windows machine. WAMP refers to Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So all of this together allow you to have a local server on your machine and also be able to develop a PHP apl application uh, and also be able to read and write data from the MySQL database. So let's get it started. So the first thing, you need to do is go to the WAMP server.com and this screen will pop up by default if not just so click on download and here depending on your system 64 or 32 bit now majority of the systems are 64 bit but if your system is uh, 32 or 64 so you can ch so type here system information I n uh, as soon as you type system i you will see information here it says system type 64 based pc so if your computer is not 64 then it should be x83 uh, so that refers to 32 bit so if it's not 64 then it's 32 bit so you will download that my machine is 64 bit so i'm just clicking on that download it So it, it will take you to SourceForge and don't click on anything. The pop-up will come and it will go here for the download. Okay, so just let's run this. So I'm closing Chrome. Again, you will see here it talks about installation and it talks about uh, some of the redistribution package and some information that is needed for example they say disable ISTs for example Skype if you run Skype because Skype use, uses port 80 uh, it will create some problem and this one is for redistribution purpose so here for Apache, we need this, and depending one of these are 32, 64, and also we need these. Or maybe simply, I just click. It takes me to Microsoft, and now it takes to 2008, so that was 32 bit. Let me go on this one. This is 64 bit, so, so these two link, the second one is 64 bit. Now I'm clicking and the download is finished run so this says it's already there so just repair make sure that I have it finish now on the second one the 2010 I'm assuming the second one should be 64 bit if not yes so the second is 64 bit let's download this one the files are very small, 5.4 megabyte. Okay, let's run it. So this is also done. Now, the two files So from Microsoft, they say download this one. Let me download this. Double click. Visual Studio 2012 update 4. So download. Again now 64 bit. I'm minus 64. Click next. Very quick 6.9 megabytes. They are very small. So run. Oh, it's already there, but repair. Successful. So let's go back for the installation. Here, 2012. So Visual Studio 2013. 64 bit. Install 6.9. I'm just doing it to make sure nothing is left behind. This is 6.9 megabyte again install so that's 2013 very quick 
no time so now this one the last link 2015 you see the C++ 2015 update 3 so let me select what is English mm. wow amazing English uh, so download 64 bit so this was st this is 14 megabyte again it's very quick install so that's 2015 update okay So this is now completed, as I understood. So now let's go next. Now it says where do you want to install it and see. So this is 64. I don't like the word 64. The one one is enough, but if you you can just continue. So one server 64, again. So one server 64. The name that is okay. Install. So you can see the shortcut is created, but still it says which application you want to explore, that's fine. It asks you for the location, it automatically found it, don't worry, just say open. Where you want the text, notepad, yes. And then in Windows, notepad, that's the location, just click OK. Finishing the installation. Okay, next. So here are the versions of each software. This one server that I'm installing is 3.06, 64-bit, the Apache. So we are we are having three important applications in our system, Apache 2.4, and then PHP 5.6, and MySQL 5.7. Finish. Now the application is there. Usually when you install it and run it, you should see it here. So what we do is just double click, allow it, so you see red when until it's green this will not work so it means now it's working so open your browser so before i do anything else let me tell you about some features so if i click here we will see all these options the three important options or application that you work and change is that one is mysql here are a lot of options including the mysql.ini my.ini so you, you will need it sometimes but not now php also here php.ini and then apache apache.con or nf conf so don't worry so uh, i'm just opening the chrome or any other browser you have if you type localhost you will see that one server is running so now the one server is ready Another important thing for installing WAMP server is the PHP MyAdmin. Okay, very important because we need that to manage MySQL host. The username is root and the password is empty. Go. Excellent. So now WAMP server is running and here you can create, go to the database and create a database and then continue so to test my my sql here the file that you create inside wamp go inside ww and the file will be here so this is index now let me make it as bk dot bk and let me just create a simple file a text file to test my php So I call it index.php and then right click 
edit it. I'm doing it in Notepad++. These updates are nice. So without any HTML or anything, just put this and then PHP info and that's it, save. Now let's go here, localhost. So my file, that this file, PHP info, is now printing this. It gives you so much information about environmental variables, about all settings of the server. Okay, so now WAMP server is running. From now on, then we will have to create an applications, so which I'm gonna create more videos, step by step from beginning to advance. I will take it and I'll create videos so you can follow and learn. So if you like this video, please thumb up and also please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.